you can have a plan, stuff can happen, that plan can go haywire, and you can still stick with it and make it work. Well, hello everybody and welcome to my parents' kitchen as we are now just under three weeks out from the Battle of the River, June 8th, 2024 in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Darren Starr, thank you for joining me again. I've been doing these updates since I was 20 weeks out. As of today, recording this on Sunday, I am 20 days out. So it's been a little bit of a week. So um, why don't we just dive into it and see what's up. First thing to cover would just be the changes that were implemented coming into this week. I have to really put my brain in the way back mode here, but I don't think I really changed too much last week other than uh, I had scaled back my post-workout cardio from 40 minutes to 30 minutes. have largely maintained that with some uh, issues a little bit. Uh, it's been a little bit of a bumpy week here for sure. So uh, we'll, we'll dig into that more. Of course, as you can imagine, based on the setting, there are some things that have been going on here. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a wild ride. It's been a challenging week on many fronts for sure. Uh, but prep has been continuing to go fairly well, all things considered, which is to say, not great, uh, but we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. I don't feel like I'm giving up too much ground. I'm not making as much ground as I might like, but not really giving up too much. So not too many changes to implement going into this week. I'm really just kind of trying to maintain the status quo, more or less, and I think I've largely held serve with that. All right, how things feel in a word tired, stressed, shitty. That's three words. There you go. Uh, so basically earlier in the week, uh, it was uh, when I recorded uh, the four week out update last week. In that update, I went ahead and registered for the show, um, got signed up, renewed the NPC card, made the tanning appointment, all that. Great. Good to go. The next day, my mom ended up in the ER. So <laughs> it to fast forward a few days, I made a return trip back here, just got a one-way ticket just because I needed to be around to kind of help with stuff, just all the general family stuff. So she's doing well now. She's recovering. Um, she's still in the hospital. She will be being discharged into outpatient rehab soon, and then we'll eventually come home. That stuff, uh, we'll find out more about that tomorrow, Monday, the 20th. Uh, the, the timeline on that is likely going to be that most of that happens after the show. So I'm kind of continuing with plans as they are for right now to actually do the show. So as you can imagine, stress has been through the roof. Um, also just the hectic chaos of last minute travel, packing bags, getting meals all situated. Uh, to my credit, if I can toot my own horn, like, I did a good job of managing all that. Like, uh, so the travel days were fine. Leading into that was fine. Everything was fine. There have been a few things that kind of got uh, shortchanged just a little bit here and there just based on some logistical challenges, but it's doing okay overall. Just very, very stressed. And with that, with that comes a lot of GI distress. So my stomach has been off, feeling very bloated, distended. You know, at this point, I'm lean enough. I can tell visually, like things look different. So I definitely just feel off. I'm doing all the things that I have to do though, and the, the feeling of being off is really more of an acute thing that will correct itself if those factors are able to kind of return back to normal. So, um, so pressure's on you, mom. It's all on you to get better because when you get better, I get less stressed. So come on, think about me, would you, for once? Jeez, um, kidding, of course. Uh, so it's, it's, been, it's been tough. It's, it's been a challenge for sure. So, uh, and the funny thing is like, Every time I've done a prep, going back to 2012, something like this happens in the last month. There's always something. It's never, never an easy home stretch. Something like this always happens, which means, of course, I just won't do this again. <laughs> no, that's probably not true. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just weird. And so with that stress for me, comes um, a shingles flare-up, so my left hip is killing me right now, um, and also um, I get really bad heart from heartburn, just major gastric reflux. Nothing I do, nothing I can take really addresses it at all. It's just, it has to be stress reduction, so doing what I can. So I brought everything with me here to record this update. I actually got a new laptop so I can continue with video editing on the road. Um, brought work with me as well, so it's a full working trip. I still don't know when I'm going home yet, probably this week sometime, but I'm not totally sure. So it's still an open-ended trip at this point. 
How things look, we'll check the video here. Um, I recorded this post-workout in the gym today, I think. Well, I know I did. I'm not sure which video I'm gonna put up here yet. It's gonna be either one, the one from today or yesterday. Recorded those post-workout at the gym in the posing room that they have here in Salem, there in Salem. I'm in Albany. Uh, and uh, I don't know, um, this is one of the, just not because I'm not trying to see it, but just because I've been super busy, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. As I was looking at things in the mirror, I'm like, okay, cool. It seemed like the legs were coming into me. I was pretty happy with that, especially in some of the side poses. So I'll see if that translates in the video or not. Um, I was pretty happy with the back as I was able to see it in the mirrored reflections. Um, it's the first time I've really seen my back kind of start to come in a little bit, which is cool. Um, still not exactly where I want it to be or anything like that, but it's, it's coming along. So um, overall, like, you know, not too bad, especially considering that it's, it's really like the stomach is a mess, right? And so when your GI is a mess, everything just kind of feels like crap. And your, your ability to self-evaluate, which for me is already pretty low, just goes down and down even further at that point. So it's really hard for me to self-assess. So as I do this edit, I will, uh, I will <laughs> look at the video more closely then. I'll put on a thumbs up or a thumbs down based on how I see. Or maybe I'll take a thumbs up and I'll turn it sideways or something like that if I'm kind of indifferent. So we'll see how it goes. Point being, still doing the stuff that I have to do on a daily basis, understanding that there are acute factors that are making things look worse right now. So if I just stay the course and continue doing those little things, everything will even out and it will be all good in time. All right, weekly numbers. I got them up here. I took a screenshot of the tracker here, so I'll throw it up over here and you can see um, weight was really kind of like up and not really doing much most of the week. And then as things started to settle down, you can see a little bit going into today, 205.6, which is a prep low. So that's just the by nature of stress kind of settling down a little bit. I still don't feel great, but we can start to see some of that dissipate in the numbers a little bit. So I feel a little bit better about that. The averages are not giving a complete picture here just because it still has a lot of the data built into that average from those elevated numbers earlier in the week. So you can see here the 16th was my travel day. I did 30 minutes, 30 minute walk in the morning, 30 minutes post-workout cardio after chest and shoulders. That was a good day. Then I traveled and I left Knoxville around 2.30 p.m. Got into Portland around nine, uneventful travel on schedule. Um, actually got to Albany around nine after a airport shuttle and all this stuff. So I uh, went grocery shopping that night. Next morning, slept in a little bit. Took a walk, made it a rest day, didn't do any cardio the rest of the day, did work, et cetera, and just called it good. And then the regular routine resumed yesterday with a 40 minute walk in the morning, 30 minutes post-workout cardio after posterior workout. And then today I hit back and arms, 40 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes post-workout. So that will kind of continue. A TBD as far as tomorrow and what's going on then as far as a workout, I just kind of want to play it by ear and see how I feel just because I'm really, really tired overall. The days here consist of going to the gym in the morning um, as dad's kind of waking up here. And then, you know, we're kind of back and forth to the hospital a couple of times, hanging with mom most of the day, come back here at night, chill out. That's pretty much it. So um, it's, it's kind of funny, even though not a lot to do, it's still very exhausting. Like it's mentally very draining. So um, those are what the numbers look like though. Not too bad. I mean, you know, everything, the, the macros are fine. No real issues here, anything like that. So uh, it's been, you know, pretty much uh, business as usual, um, thankfully. And that's kind of, kind of how it needs to be. So the plan going forward is pretty simple. Keep doing the stuff I gotta do, go home eventually, and keep doing the stuff I gotta do there as well. Uh, one thing that I, I've noticed throughout all this, and I, I come back to things that I hear from clients a lot when they're in prep for a show, or if they're not even doing a show, they're just a lifestyle client, is that um, something comes up and they immediately stop doing this. I get emails all the time like, oh, this thing happened, I just have to quit. And to me, that just shows uh, either that it's just not as high of a priority for them, which can be okay, or a real lack of resilience, which is more of a problem. And so what I'm trying to demonstrate here, because this is important to me, is resilience in the fact that you can have a plan, stuff can happen, that plan can go haywire, and you can still stick with it and make it work. Now, depending on what exactly was going on, like there, there are some ways that this could have played out where just doing the show wouldn't make sense. Um, and honestly, part of me was kind of hoping for that because in a way I just want this prep to be over. And if it was going to be over three weeks early without me doing the show, eh, whatever, I could have lived with that. I feel like I did good work, um, but I would like to see it through. And so 
I, I did have a small rooting interest <laughs> for that in some way, uh, but it's not going to play out like that. Like I, I'm pretty confident at this point. Again, tomorrow we'll make the final determination on that probably, um, but uh, it, it's going to play out where you know I'll be able to get back home, have enough time there, do the show, and then probably come back here after that. Um, but uh, like if I if there was value in me staying here for the foreseeable future, I absolutely would. Um, I just don't think there's going to be necessarily. So, point being is to be resilient. Like if you have your goals, you can't just pay attention to those goals and put actions towards those goals when it's convenient to do so because it's unlikely to be convenient to do so for as long as it takes to actually see the goal through. So be resilient and put in the work, remain focused on what you have to do, and understand that yes, there can be some situations where you have to pull the plug. Those are pretty dire situations. Like this situation here was pretty dramatic, um, but I didn't lose sight of what I was trying to do. I, I would have let it go if I needed to, but I didn't need to, and I wanted to leave my options open. So until I knew for sure that yes, this isn't going to happen, I was just gonna keep doing what I could and give myself every opportunity to still be successful with it. And that's where I find myself now, and I think it's still gonna happen, so it was, a, it was the right call, so. That's where I'm at here. Um, I do wish this was a more boring update. Um, there's been a lot going on. The actual prep side of things has been fairly boring. Um, I am kind of scaling back my training volume a little bit just because I am super fatigued um, and just continuing to grind and push and push and push aggressively is just a dumb thing to do. You're just gonna drive yourself into the ground. So the, the main thing is listen to your body. And right now my body is saying, dude, screw you. Like it wants to rest. So tomorrow will probably be a rest day, um, which is fine because it's a busy work day. Um, there's hospital visits to make, etc. Tuesday is a slightly slower day. And oh, there's also like potentially some doctor appointments at the hospital that I want to be present for. So having a slightly clearer schedule would help. I'm tired. My body would appreciate a rest day. Might sleep in a little bit tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, that's what I got. That's what I got for this week. So <laughs> I'll keep you posted as, as I know more. So stick around for the uh, two week out update next week, which hopefully with any luck will probably be uh, done back home in Knoxville. Fingers crossed. <laughs>